What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Cool Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. Today, we need to talk about Infinite Warfare in a certain capacity, but also where the future of Call of Duty resides here with this. Because as you guys may or may not know, or it might be something that is relatively a decent guess that you could take a look at, Infinite Warfare sales were down and as of right now, we do have some solid numbers to confirm this and it does give a little bit of a dismal look at Infinite Warfare overall, but it might be something that looking towards the future, we have to question where do we go from here, what's in the immediate future, and then in the years down the line here with the franchise. So that said, we're gonna be taking a look at that, my thoughts, my theories here, and just having a little open discussion with you guys. And I'd love to hear your thoughts as always with these discussion videos down there in the comment section down below. But that said, if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Mastered and anything Call of Duty. So firstly, let's talk about the NPD group Group report for Infinite Warfare. Now, the MPD group is a marketing group that tracks sales numbers and things like that all throughout a lot of different mediums. There's a multitude of things that goes into this, but that said, they did a report here on Call of Duty and Infinite Warfare physical sales, and they are down currently almost 50% compared to Black Ops 3 physical sales in the launch month. Now, we're now out of November, so this is a finalized statistic. It's something that is now set in stone, but a statement says that Infinite Warfare units came in 17% shy of our expectations, but it's down close to 50% year to year. So 50% of Black Ops 3 sales, but 17% shy of what they expected. So that to interpret it for you guys, they were expecting a loss. This is something that was mentioned in the quarterly earnings reports a long while back here earlier in the year. They didn't expect Infinite Warfare to do as well, especially after the initial reception of the first trailer. And it was something that, that was something that this was then expected, that it wasn't going to do as well, but it's down even more, which it's kind of scary to investors and to the business side of Activision. However, the counter here for this is the fact that the digital sales of Infinite Warfare actually are 15% up compared to Black Ops 3. Now, without the numbers completely off the top of my head, I can tell you this is something that does make sense because there was the bundled editions of Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered. Now, you take that, you put in an $80 price tag for two games, and that is definitely going to make up for some of the sales that were lost in a $60 game. It's just the law of numbers here with this. Granted, it's not near as much as you'd say hope so if you were a business, but it is something that does slightly make up for some of that profit. But that said, with everything being down, where does this leave us now to look, not only just in the immediate future, but within the next couple of years for the franchise? So the immediate future, we saw COD points introduced at the earliest they've ever been here within Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. It was only a couple weeks after launch and a lot of people were really upset that they didn't have leaderboards here with this. And that's something I wanna elaborate on a little bit here in a different video. I don't think it's actually because of player count. I think it might be due to the score and a lot of the bugs that went along here with this. But we'll talk about that differently. But regardless, people were upset that COD points were introduced this early. And this is just something to kickstart some of these sales back. Now, if you were to ask me, and I don't like saying it, but there's probably gonna be something coming to Modern Warfare Remastered as well in terms of slight microtransaction DLC. That might be something that is even coming up here in the very near future, and it's something that might outrage some people, but it is on a business level, once again, just to try and make up for some of these sales. Now, is this something that is going to affect Call of Duty as a whole? Absolutely. There's going to be a lot of different stresses on microtransaction DLC this year, especially with four map packs coming out for the DLC. Of course, with all the variants, there's a lot more potential for micro micro DLC and supply drop weapons. And then moving forward, there's definitely gonna be a stress here on this and overall it's going to collectively gain a little bit more in terms of profit, even more than the 1 billion across the Activision micro DLC sales through all their titles as compared of to last year. So that said, the immediate future is definitely going to have a lot more stress on micro DLC, at least the way that I see it. And then in the future, I think this is going to prompt a lot of different change for Call of Duty. Otherwise it might become something that is then considered obsolete or dying in the very near future. Now, a lot of people have said that Call of Duty is dying for years now, but what happens if they do another EXO movement Call of Duty game, say in Advanced Warfare 2? I definitely think that will hurt the numbers even further than what they are at right now, but that then prompts a lot of different movements towards the fan approval with the game in the next year and then following thereafter. 
I personally believe we're definitely going to see a 100% boots on the ground Call of Duty next year. That's something that there is no basis, but the logical thing to do would be to do this. Otherwise, once again, you're not going to stop the bleeding. You're just going to open the cut even more. So that said, sales are confirmed down. It's now official and there are multiple reports now of this within the actual marketing statistics of the game and the sales, the sales numbers, all that. It's set in stone. Infinite Warfare is down in some regards. Digital sales are a little bit up, but not near as much as it would be to cover all of the different grounds for the other losses with physical copies. Now, that said, once again, the future, look forward to more DLC coming here in the next weeks to months within Infinite Warfare. And then of course, once again, further down the line, I know a lot of people may even want out of Infinite Warfare already. I think the next Call of Duty definitely will be boots on the ground, but that is once again, all speculation. So that said, that's gonna wrap it up here at this one. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Do you agree with anything I said here? Do you disagree with anything? Whatever it may be. Love to hear your thoughts, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Mastered, and anything Call of Duty going forward. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nicole Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.